you know, within like a day, her daughter basically, now you guys want to cut her off? They had kissed. It wasn't like a kiss he was touching Sahar's hair. If you haven't had a chance yet, smash that like button and click that subscribe button so you can join this road coaster. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to this episode of English Turks, where I review your favorite Turkish series with and without English subtitles. And today, we are going to do a couples update. Now, guys, I know I haven't posted a weekly update for two weeks, and it's not that I didn't film one. I filmed one last week, and I didn't post it. And then I was going to film one for last week's Dizzy's, but by the time I finally watched the last Dizzy, um, I realized that, you know, by today it's a little too late, you know, because all the other Dizzy's, most of the Dizzy's have already aired. And plus, I'm having a difficult time because I have to catch up on Solya Nem. So I thought instead of doing a weekly update video for last week's Dizzy's, I thought let me do a couples update because we watch all the Dizzy's for the couples, right? Like don't get me wrong, that's why we're watching it. So let's talk about the couples. So let's start off with Zen Chalkapimi uh, with uh, Serkan and Ada. They are in wedding planning mode. All that catastrophe they had going on before seemed to be like nothing. That's what it is with these um, rom-coms. Like they show that there's issues, but there's really no issues. And so they are basically planning their wedding. But I saw, I haven't watched this week's Dizzy, but I did see that I think Celine came back maybe. I'm not sure. And it looks like there's a rift between Ida and Sirkan again. I don't know, but the last thing I saw was that they were in wedding planning mode, getting things ready. And so I'm gonna be watching this week's episode that aired on Saturday and catch you guys up on that one. Let's talk about Menagerie Miata. We have Badish and Dijale who are technically dating, but they're not claiming each other's boyfriend and girlfriend, but they've been flirting a lot and they've been kissing a few times. And now it looks like they're about to get caught. But here's the thing, guys. I don't think Dijale is going to get in trouble or get fired because now she is a manager in training, I think, right? She's She's a manager in training. And for the managers, that rule doesn't apply to them that they can't date um, you know, they can't date someone um, from through inside the company, any of the actors or anything like that. Because remember earlier they said it doesn't apply to managers. And since she's technically not an assistant, even though she's still doing assistant things, she's technically a manager. So I don't think she'll get in trouble for it. But also, I think the person that's coming after them has to be Amir. I feel like it's him, but I don't know. Maybe it was revealed this Sunday. I didn't watch the video, the episode, but I will. I promise, I will. Let's talk about Sefer and Kizzy. As you guys know, Nestle Han left the show due to medical reasons. And so they basically had to find a way to take her character out and let the show continue because the whole point of the show is the ambassador's daughter, Sefer and Kizzy. It's the daughter, it's her. Nestle Han is the main point of the show. But since she can't be in the show anymore as Nade, they made it so that Nade just up and left, which honestly, with all the drama that she's been through over there, I think it was time for her to leave anyway. I mean, I would have left, but I wouldn't have left my daughter. However, she basically said in the letter that she came to give her daughter to her dad and then up and go. And now that she knows her daughter's safe, it's okay for her to leave, which honestly, I can understand that. What I didn't like was how they, you know, within like a day, her daughter basically cut her off her life, ripped up the letter, all that kind of, like, that was a bit much. But I get it, the writers wanted to make it so that we're all not hoping you know, for Nade to come back. They had to really cut the slate clean, so they made it like Sanja cut her off. I mean, of all the stupid things Nade has done, now you guys wanna cut her off? When she finally left so she can have some sanity, now you wanna cut her off? I didn't watch this week's episode, but I think Getty's probably passed away, which is really heartbreaking. I'm really hoping that, I don't know, but I think that's what happened, and so when I watch it, I'm gonna be so sad. That's when I'm gonna hesitate on watching. But we'll see, because once a character dies, you can't bring them back, unless it's like in a memory or something. 
Let's keep it going and let's talk about Masuma or Parmani. We're gonna talk about two cup, three couples in this dizzy. The first couple we'll talk about is Khan and NJ. Obviously, um, the actress that plays NJ was sick, so she could not um, act in that week's um, episode. So they made it that she was so angry that she disappeared and the only person she's talking to is her brother and her best friend. And so Han is basically had to carry their relationship through that entire episode, showing his different stages of anger, showing his face. Like it was really difficult for him, but he needs to do better with controlling his anger. It was a little scary. And it looks like she sent him divorce papers, so that's even more scarier. But in the in the fragment that I saw, it looks like the family is going to do something to kind of um, help the situation because Safia wasn't trying to help the situation, but when she saw how, how heartbreaking her brother was, I think she might do something because it shows that NJ's coming to their home, but everything's saran wrap. I don't know if that's a dream or if it really happened. The episode aired last night, so maybe it happened. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. You can spoil it for me. It's okay. The second couple in this um, Dizzy that I want to talk about is Safia and um, I always forget his name, Najee. There you go. Safia and Najee. So Najee is basically dying and his ex-wife, uh, Guluru, tried to figure out if there could be a solution, but she went to the doctor with him and it looks like the prognosis is really, really bad. And so Guluru tried to go and tell Safia, but Safia kind of like just, she doesn't understand Safia now. Like who Safia was from before. I think that's who she's expecting, but she's not getting that person. So she ended up not being able to tell Safia, and it kind of makes me sad because I wish that they could have some kind of life together. I feel like it's so unfair when people don't get to spend their lives with someone that they actually love. And so let's keep moving to the third couple that I want to talk about, and that's Neriman and Eje. And I love Neriman and Eje. Obviously, they had a bit of banter in the last episode, because basically EJ keeps talking bad about Neriman's family and then when Neriman shot back at him about his dad he got really heartbroken about that but they made it really quickly which is what I love about their young love so I mean Neriman doesn't really know that EJ likes her but she's kind of getting hints here and there I'm hoping they could take their relationship a step forward, but we never know. Let's keep going and move on to the next Dizzy, which is Dr. Kun F. Katarin Deer. Guys, I'm all for um, Zainab and Badish. I don't know, guys. I'm starting to like that couple. Um, obviously, we know in a few episodes before they had kissed. Um, Badish had kissed her, but pretended like he didn't know that he kissed her. But it seems like things are moving forward. They drove around the block a couple of times listening to music. He's making a point to constantly be picking her up, being there for her. He did invite her out for lunch and stuff. He actually wanted to celebrate the fact that she called him Barish instead of Barish Bay. And remember when the other employee did it, he, he was like, oh, absolutely not. Let's not confuse things. But he is obviously showing Zainab that he's attracted to her, to her as more than an employee and so their relationship is actually pretty much moving forward um, but at the same time Zainab has stepped in to play as Medi's lawyer the episode aired today I don't know how far they took that but I do know that they shared a hug or something but I like the way the writers are kind of transitioning our thought process not everyone is on on game with this not everybody wants to see Medi and Zainab not together so a lot of people out there really want them to be together and if you're one of those people i mean you know you do you i don't know what to say because like for me the amount of stuff that happened between them i just think it's really unhealthy and i don't think that it should be portrayed to viewers that something like that can happen and then that person goes back because the situation is so like it's so borderline and so fragile that anybody can look at that and say tommy's doing these things to me maddie's doing these things then maybe tommy will do better you know and i can go back to tommy because Zainab went back to Medi. those kind of things scare me and people do that if you think that people are not doing that think beyond yourself people will watch these this dizzy and think that so let's for their sake not want them to go back together but if you still do i mean we'll see what happens you never know you never know let's keep moving to the next couple so let's talk about um Sarah and Selim. I haven't watched 
the episode. Like, I am going to be starting tomorrow. I'll be four, four and a half hours behind. So it's really like I'm getting a lot of anxiety. Every time I delay watching an, an episode, I get anxiety because I know that it's so much to watch. And I feel like my whole day is gone just trying to catch up on a dizzy. So that's why I've hesitated to click and continue watching where I left off. Because I think I'm two, I'll be two episodes behind starting tomorrow, two and a half episodes. And so, yeah, but I did hear through the different groups I was following, it looks like uh, Sarah is mad at Selim. I don't know why I think he accused her of something or, or made it seem like something that she did or like made it her fault. And so she's upset with him. And I'm not sure what that is. You guys can let me know because we'll see if I'm going to end up catching up. I love the show, but it's not like I'm crazy about the show. Let's keep it moving. I don't want to offend anybody. But Sonia's guys, I absolutely love this show. And actually, in this show, we have two couples that we could talk about. Let's talk about Yagmur and Akgun. Well, basically, they it looked like something was moving forward with them because Khan, her boyfriend, actually dumped her because he felt that Yagmur uh, was choosing Akgun over him, and they kind of shared like. A Yagmur kind of kissed Akin, but it wasn't like a kiss kiss. It was I feel sorry and sad for you kiss. But you could tell that both of them have feelings for each other. However, Akin, as a favor to Yagmur, I think because he cares about her, he went and told Khan the truth behind, you know, his being there and what Yagmur was doing to help him so that he would treat, you know, that Khan and Yagmur could get back together and they end up getting back together. Um, and so now it's kind of difficult for anything to be happening right now, but I feel like something is probably going to happen towards the future. Of course, there will be. And then for Yagmur's parents, which is um, the prosecutor and his wife, He's basically doing so many sweet things for her. He actually got her an office and paid for six months of rent at the office, got her new heels. Like, he's doing stuff, but he's also doing bad things because he made the guy retract his offer for her, you know, to work for him, which, you know, I can understand why he did it, and it's a good thing he did it. However, if she finds out, I think she's going to be really upset about it, so we'll see what happens with that because that's going to be a little scary to have to go through those motions and anyway let's talk about the last couple and that is Yaman and Seher they are going to get married guys Yaman proposed marriage to Seher she eventually accepted it and they're making it seem like both of them are afraid to say that they really love each other so they're saying it's a formality but no one else knows it's a formality except for Jenger um, which is the um, butler and uh, Nadir um, Teze, which is her milk mother. Those are the only two people who know that it's technically not a real marriage. However, they both do have feelings for each other and they're protecting their hearts from being broken by kind of, you know, approaching things carefully. But Yaman did in today's episode, he was touching Sahar's hair. He gave her a kiss on the cheek. He said it was because um, Iqbal was watching them. However, Iqbal did walk away before he kissed her on the cheek. And then she saw that Iqbal wasn't there. And so she was like, you know, thinking like, oh my gosh, what could this be? So in the next episode, it looks like they're going to be, you know, taking pictures together, building a social media profile and all that stuff. So that's going to be really cool to see. I love all the couples, guys. I really do. Tell me who's your favorite couple. My favorite couple would have to be OMG, like this is tough. This is a tough choice, guys. Who is my favorite couple? Okay, I'm going to just play it safe and say that Ege and Neriman are my favorite couples, even though they're not like couple couple, but they're my favorite couple. Because I feel like if I say anybody else, I'll probably get a little hate because there's people who love and hate these couples out there. But tell me in the comments below, who is your favorite couple? And I will be back with my weekly updates next week. If you haven't had a chance yet, smash that like button and click that subscribe button so you can join this road coaster. All right, bye.